Hello, everyone. I just wanted to come on really quickly and let you guys know that some interesting news has occurred. Our favorite detective, Detective Tom Casey with Waukesha Police Department, has retired. He did it earlier this week, or at least they posted it earlier this week. And, you know, I went through, I was like trying to find some, I, I want to find as much information about him as I could, right? To kind of do a little thing, do a little bio on him. Well, he apparently stays low key. I mean, the only thing that I can find on him is the things that he's done that are big deals. And I mean, really big deal stuff. Like number one, he was involved with the Slender Man case, which if anyone doesn't remember that one, that was the two little girls that, um, tried to unalive their best friend and they said that slender man made them do it you remember that one little girl she went away to the mental institution i think she still might be in the mental institution but i haven't followed that case um what's going on with that lately i know that they i don't really know exactly where the girls are at right now i, I did i believe one of them did get out Okay, the one little girl that had the mental issues, the little blonde with the long hair, her name was Morgan Geyser. She was actually the one that Detective Casey was interviewing. So if you've ever watched, if you ever watched that interview, there's there's Detective Casey. He was actually featured on Good Morning America. Um, kind of wanted to go over what he had said. This is the little girl right here. He, this is the one that he interviewed. And this is the little girl that was hurt. And if you're not familiar with this case, this is the little girl he interviewed. Um, I think this one got out. I can't, re I just remember last year, wasn't it last year? There was some hubbub about that. Um, anyway, she's doing great now, this little girl. She's, she's fine. But it was a scary case. If you haven't ever watched the documentaries on it, I highly suggest you do so. Two of the it looks like, according to this information that I found here, it looks like they did some type of presentation on this, uh, Detective Casey and some others with the Waukesha Police Department, for training with other police departments. Because it, it seems to be something that's in lockdown that I can't get a piece of. So I, I talked to one of my friends in law enforcement one time, and, you know, they're always training and learning from what others go through. So I would take it that that's where this is coming from. Um, it says here that Detective Casey is a detective with the Waukesha Police Department who specialized in death investigations. He worked at the police department, at the Waukesha Police Department. Well, it says 20 years, but I know it's more than that because this is older. Where he investigated crimes ranging from financial crimes to homicides. Detective Casey holds a bachelor degree in criminal justice from the University of Wisconsin-Milwaukee, and he was the lead investigator of the Slender Man case from the day it occurred throughout the judicial process. Uh, he was the first one that went over to the one that he interviewed, Morgan. He went to her mother's house to talk to her. Well, let's just go over what he says here, This because this is really interesting. You guys probably remember that picture. And I'm not going to read this whole thing because this isn't about that case. I uh, just wanted to read what De Detective Casey had said. Casey went to Geyser's home and spoke to her mother, Angie Geyser. He discovered that the two girls had a sleepover the night before with a third friend. Neither were at the home. And police fanned out across Waukesha an extensive search looking for the two missing 12-year-old girls. Casey said he thought they were in grave danger and that we may find these girls dead somewhere. So it was interesting he was part of that. And of course, we all know him very well for the work done on the parade case. I did want to say, read this here to you guys on January 24th of 2012. So, yes, it's very, very old. But um, Sarah Millard with Patch Staff, she did a uh, little mock-up on him about how he was promoted from an officer to a detective. And there he is, a wee bit younger lad. When he was promoted, he was a 14-year veteran. And they described him as the closer because of his work closing cases as a police officer. 
Tom has persevered and has worked very hard to get where he is today and to put this detective badge on. He is going to wear this with pride as everyone does here. Anything worth having is worth working for and Tom has worked extremely hard for it. I really love that they call him the closer. I used to love that TV show. So from our little humble channel here at Dimwit Criminals, we just would like to say, Detective Casey, congratulations on your retirement. We hope that you are able to go out and enjoy your retirement, get some rest, um, go fishing, go spend time with your family, enjoy your retirement. You've deserved it. And I think I speak on behalf of everyone here on my channel. We thank you for your services. All right, guys, that's it. I just wanted to share that with you really quickly. Y'all have a blessed day and I will talk to you very soon.